Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we'll be working on week number 50 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. We're almost to the end. We're going to be working with some dowels, not dowels, dowels. Um, these little pieces of wood here, you can get some at Hobby Lobby. I cut mine out of um, logs that I had on hand. Um, so I just did slabs and these are about a half inch thick. So, and then we're going to be using the Dollar Tree uh, foam cones and they, they are all like this. They don't come all the way to the tip. So we have to kind of compensate for that. And we're going to just be using a couple pieces of your favorite scrapbook paper. I have one sheet from the... Um, Paper Studio, which is a Hobby Lobby product from the 12 Days of Christmas pack. That is this piece I'm going to be using. I also have one piece of this that I'm going to be using, and that is from Echo Park, and that was Celebrate Christmas. And I don't know the year on that, but it was the Holly Jolly piece. Uh, number CCH159003. Again, that was Echo Park. Celebrate Christmas. So I have that sheet. And I've also got a few little uh, things from my stash. Some ribbons and some wood pieces and a button and some little um, uh, snowflakes and some sequins. So, and we're going to go from there and see what we come up with. So what I've done is I've pre kind of tested because I wanted to know about where I had to start to um, get these rolled up. So I'm going to take this actually off the stand. And then how I got my circle on the bottom was I, I drilled my hole in my log or little slab piece. I shouldn't call it log. Um, and then I kind of lined up, because this isn't a perfect circle, I kind of centered that so I knew about where the thing was, stuck my dowel in and just pressed down in till I got down in there a bit. And that's how I decided where to put my, um, how to find my center in this. That was the easiest way to do that. So I want this side of the paper. So I have kind of, like I said, pre-tested. And I've made a little mark here, so I know my cone has to be about there. So I'm going to roll this back to this corner here so I can get a good start on it. Okay, so I'm going to get my art glitter glue. I'm just going to put some glue on here to get us going. So I know I'm going to roll the whole thing up. And I'll add more in a minute. Get a good amount there. Okay. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna come back in here. I know my line is about right there, so I'm gonna kind of roll that back till my cone is like that. If I start too far out, my cone's gonna bend, and or I'm not gonna have enough to. And I'm kind of keeping that tight as I'm rolling. I want to keep it nice and tight. Okay, I see I'm going to start needing some glue down here. All right, keep rolling. Keeping it tight. And it's going to start rolling back this way a bit. And I probably don't need it all the way down to the bottom there because that's going to get all cut off. So let's see what we got here. Keep rolling. You see how I've got a nice tight tip there? That's what we want. So we're just going to keep rolling. All right, like that. I'm just going to give it a nice snug there. Get me some extra glue right in there. Perfect. I'm just going to let that start to dry up. Oh, I'm going to pop the excess glue there. There we go. I'm going to 
actually hold that kind of on that side. Put my pin back in. I want this to set up a little bit before we continue on. This one is the one I practiced on. So I just took a scrap piece of mail advertisement that was long enough and just rolled that up to just check to see uh, what it was going to take to get that cone to be taller. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I don't want to press real hard on this tip because remember, there's nothing in there. It all starts way down in here. So as you can see, we're just going to let that dry up a bit before we mess with it. Let's take our second one here and we'll get that going. And did the same thing here. I've got that marked there. So I can know where to roll back to. So you don't have to do this um, piece here. That was just a test for me to find out where what I had to do and where I had to start to get an idea of, um, to roll it up so that it was, that I got a cone shape all the way to the tip. So, but you don't have to do that. If you want to, you can. I mean, it's just going to add a little bit more strength to it. Let me get some glue going down here. And just like the other one, we can always add more when we get we think we need it. All right. So I know it has to be there, so I'm going to roll it back here a little bit. Like so, I think, right in there. So I'm going to bring this back like that. Just like that. And it's important to keep that tight. Got to have it nice and tight. I'm going to be pulling on this side while I kind of roll with this other hand here. And I'm keeping my hand on the foam part so I know that I'm on a surface that is more stable. If I go to the tip of the cone, then I'm getting into parts that are not um, stable. There we go. I don't want to get any glue that squeezes out there maybe, but I'm going to lay it back down on that and kind of just hold it on that area there. Just like that. Isn't that black? Pretty. Kind of hold that. That looks pretty good there. Okay, so this one dries now. We're going to flip over to the other one. Okay. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to come up in here until we get to that cone. And then I'm going to come in from an angle here. Just like that. I might let it hang over just a tiny bit. Now, if you want to put an extra piece of paper on the bottom, you can. Um, this is for me, so I don't think I really need to, but probably should for a finished product. But if you're going to make them to sell like at a craft fair or something, I definitely would put um, cover the bottom with an extra piece of paper or something. Bring that in, and then I'm going to squirt some hot glue in there. Let me put my thing back on here. I'm going to put some hot glue in there. There's my thing here. I want to put some of this on there, too, on this wood piece here. To kind of hold that in place there. Just like that. I'm removing any that sticks out. And that's just standing on the table there. So I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to squirt some right down in there. This type of foam should not melt. At least not too bad anyway. And I'm just sliding that down on there. Making sure it's stable there and straight. Looks pretty straight. And make sure that my glue's not dripping. So we're just going to kind of 
I'm going to look at this from a couple different angles. Make sure it's straight. And I'm going to set it aside to dry there. It looks crooked for you because that's how the angle of my camera. But it is pretty. Whoop, I just need to kind of tilt a little bit there. That dries. Hold it just for a second while it's setting up. This side's good. Just want to get it just a little. All right, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and trim this one off. Do the same thing. Come up there, and then we'll just come in from an angle. Again, I'm just going to leave probably about an eighth of an inch all the way around so it hangs down there so you don't see the white this is quite an easy project and inexpensive um i did not buy anything for this project i had everything in my stash um, i've had the cones for quite a while but i know they still carry them and then the paper, of course, I always have paper, but you can go pick out, if you don't have the paper you want, it's it's um, pretty inexpensive to get a couple of sheets of scrapbook paper, especially if you watch Hobby Lobby and then for the sales, you can get them for just a little amount of money. And then this one's going to go in there. So let's go ahead and actually... Yeah, I guess we can. I was going to say I'll decorate it first, but we can actually just uh, just put glue on there like we did the last one, just on the edge of that wood there. I just used my cordless drill to drill the hole. I'm going to leave these natural because my kitchen is like the um, farm style kitchen so and again with the hot glue in here just a little dab there we go slide that in there and I'm hoping one is a little bit higher than the other I want one a little bit higher so I'm going to lower this one on there if I can just so they're different heights. Yeah, there we go. That way they're different heights when they sit on the counter. And I probably will um, pick up another cone from the Dollar Tree. I only had the two, but I'll probably pick up another cone and maybe make a third one. Maybe either a little taller or a little shorter. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to make sure this one looks pretty, whoops, <laughs> pretty Centered to, let me see here. I'm going to check all the sides, otherwise it'll, there we go. That looks pretty good. I think those will look cute on my counter in my kitchen. All right. Check the angles again. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside and let that continue to dry. This one should be pretty well set up in there. Yep, it is. Good. For this one, I've got some burlap um, ribbon. It's really pretty. And this was from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99. Of course, I wait until it's on sale. You get uh, yeah, nine feet. So three yards. And it doesn't really have a number on it, but yeah. So that's that one. I've got, of course, my twine. And then this was just in my stash. It was just a pre-made twine bow. We might use that. I think I'm also going to use these sequins on there. But for the twine, I'm going to start the that at the bottom here. And I'm just going to kind of wrap it around and glue it. So let me get my hot glue gun right over here. Put down a piece of scrap paper here if it drips. So I'm just going to start like down here and we're going to get an idea of which way it wants to go. There we go, just like that. 
Let's keep going on that direction there. So just going to be a nice, simple, pretty one here. We're going to get some of the bling in there with the sequins and stuff. There we go. I don't know if I want that closer together, further apart. Just like that, I think. There we go. Like so. I'm just coming back in there and just kind of pulling away that excess glue that might show alongside there. If you get it while it's hot, it doesn't usually damage the paper. All right. I'm actually going to take my pencil and mark this because it, I want to follow along where it wants to go. All right. There we go. And that's going to be the best way for me to do it rather than trying to guess. the twine show me which way it wants to go again I'm going to kind of hold that take my nail and remove a little bit extra glue there there we go continue on here I think it's not going to be a lot of twine on there does it look like okay but it's going to be a nice little decoration and sometimes especially with the farmhouse look you want that um, oops I'm bending that I don't want to bend that um, you want that more simpler look I have, like I said, all kinds of ribbons here. We want to add more. I just pulled a couple things that I thought would would go good. And we might use them all. We might only use a couple of them. We'll have to see. And this is working pretty good to keep a idea of where that ribbon has to go. Working pretty good. Got a pencil line. And then it's not visible when I'm done because I'm covering it up with the ribbon. Okay. And I don't cut my twine until I'm done because I don't know how much exactly I'm going to need. So, not cut it. There we go. All right. I'm kind of excited to be about done with the 52 weeks of Christmas. I am glad I did it. It has been fun, but um, I have a lot of other things I kind of want to get to, and uh, but I am glad I did it because it just got me working on a bunch of different things that I wanted to try. So in the end, it was good. I probably wouldn't do it again, but I definitely glad I did do it um, because it has been fun.
but it's a lot sometimes, you know, you got, especially when you start getting busy, you know, it's like, oh, I have to do a video. <laughs> because once I feel that once you promise people something, even if you don't have a, um, you know, a million followers, if you promise your followers that you are going to be doing something, then you, then I feel that that is what you should do. And, uh, so, and I, of course, don't have a million followers, but even if you have one, if you tell that one person that you're going to be doing something and then they sign up to see you do that, then you really should be doing that. So, that's just my personal uh, feelings on it, you know. But I, I am glad I did it. I really am. Because it has been fun. There we go. All right. Maybe just a little bit more here. Okay. So let's see here. Let's get this going like that. Have to do just a little bit more after that too. Whoopsie! Sorry about that noise. Okay. And then just. We're going to end right at that tip there and slice that up. There we go. Perfect. There we go. There. So now for the sequence. This was in a pack of something else that I got. Um, a long time ago I think it was I want to say a kit from is it a kit from um, Prima it's a Prima kit with feathers and stuff in it um, like a decorating kit so that's what these are from so I think we're just gonna I thought the black and stuff in the green was real good to pull those two together look at this uh, make sure I didn't make it sorry I did a little bit a little bit crooked there okay. I think it's gonna be okay yeah all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put some dots on here and we'll add, I got I to gotta kind of watch where I put them because um, I'll lose them on the other dots because the other dots are white too. And did I do four dots? I did. And I'm not caring if they're upside down or what direction they are in. It's not bothering me. Oopsie. It doesn't matter to me what direction they are. They're still shiny. Okay. Let's put this black one down here because I got a black one there. Got a new dot for that. And I should have, oh, there it is. All right. 
green one over here too. And then tree over here. There we go. It's just going to give it a little something. Let's do a couple more in here. There we go. Okay. All right. And then there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just, just put them on. It's just, I don't need a ton of them. Just give me, give me a few here and there. Right. Oopsie. There we go. Sorry if I'm so quiet. Okay. All right. Now it wants to stick to me. Must have glue on my finger. Let's see if that sticks. If not, I'll. Go in and add some more glue to it in a minute. Let go of my finger. <laughs> I think the glue is coming through and getting on my finger, and then uh, I'm just going to put another bag of glue underneath that one. See? It's coming through the little holes there and getting on my finger. Alrighty. Okay. I'm just kind of following this as it winds up here. Okay. Stuck my finger. There we go. And then I also I'm good. I think the I'm gonna put the angel button on this one. I found those in my stash. Um, I don't have a ton of buttons, but I do. If I see some I like, I do buy them because they make. I just take the um. The button attachment part and I snip that off and you can use them in a lot of different things you can uh, use them in like little mini shadow boxes and stuff and they look really cute because they're dimensional but they're not real thick so it makes for a nice nice little display thing in a like a tiny shadow box or something. So, I like to get them every once in a while. And we're just winding ourselves right around this here. Getting that in there. Where the hell am I? Where am I? At? Oh, right here. <laughs> Lost my spot. Here we go. Lost my spot. Okay. I know this is kind of boring, isn't it? But I think it's going to add a nice touch to this. Simple, but pretty. 
some of my projects, I, I mean, something like this, I can't do ahead because um, it would be farther into the video, but some things I just try to do ahead, some things you just can't. And if you want to uh, speed through this, you can just go forward in the video. And uh, if you can skip through all of this, then we're almost done with it. So. Okay. Almost to the top. And see, and I didn't have that many sequins in here, but I have plenty, plenty to use here. Okay. Let's do, uh, we'll get two more on there. So let's go ahead and do a black one and a green one. There we go. Right to the very top. Where's that one? All right. There. I think that's good. I probably can even add a couple more down here now because we made it all the way to the top and we still have extra. So let's just go ahead and throw some of these in here. See? Go ahead and just throw some in, just fill it in because it's wider down here. So good, good to go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. There, I think that'll work. So let's just slide that aside a second here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use that bow, but here's my little angel button. And I thought she would look good, hot glued right in top there. So, I'm going to see if I can get some glue in the top there. I don't know if I'll be able to. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of stand her in there. Right in that part there. Oopsie. Might have to glue her. Okay. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some glue right here at the end of her and then hold her against the tip there like that. So like that. So she has a little bit more stability from the thing behind her. Okay. Just like that. I'm just going to kind of hold her there. Now, I'm going to glue this down at the very bottom there to finish off that bottom. Yeah, I think that would be good. I'm going to kind of hold on to that. That's going to be my front. So then I want to start this in the back. So we're going to add a little bead of glue right here. Go right over top of that there like so. And sit that right in there. There we go. Whoopsie. Be careful. Another bead of glue. And I'm just trying to line it up where I think those pearls are going to hit it. Just like that. Keeping the edge right along the bottom edge there. Perfect. And then let's bring it right back to here. Like that. Take our scissors. 
Let's see if they're right there. There we go. Yeah. You see that dresses it up just a little bit more. All right, so that is our number one. Perfect. And I want to, I think that's in there pretty good, but I think I'm going to squeeze just a little bit more hot glue down in there along that edge there. Just to get that settled there. Let me see. I don't want it to drip because then it'll be visible. So I'm going to hold it like this just for a second. Kind of tap it down in there a little bit. You can use these 6000s too if you want. But this just works pretty good for me. All right. Now that's still warm, I'm going to take another look at it and see. Yeah, I think I think actually I'm kind of good. I'm just gonna all right. I'm gonna set that back there. She's doing good. Now for this one, I have some gingham ribbon. I have a snowflake, or I have this. I thought these were really pretty, so I didn't know if those would look pretty on there. I mean, I'm sure they would, but I don't know if it's too much, you know. Let me see if I like the gingham ribbon better. It's more, more simpler. Yeah, let's just go with the gingham ribbon, I think. I'm pretty sure. The only thing about that is it doesn't want to. doesn't want to follow tight up against there like that. See what it does? It wants to lay out. It doesn't want to lay flat. Let me see here. Okay, maybe if we start at the top. Okay. And I'm actually going to put the hot glue on the ribbon to start. It. And we'll start at the top. And actually, there we go. Still right there. And I'm just going to start twirling it just like that. There we go. A little bit more on our ribbon here. Okay. And we're going to fold it toward. And this is probably going to look kind of funny. Yeah, I'm not going to like that. I don't like that. Let's see if I can get this to come out. All right. Ah! Let's cover that some. All right. Let's see if I can get that scratched off of there real quick, and we're going to have to cover that up with some. Worst case scenario, if you do something like this and it doesn't cover good, if you can't find something to cover it, you can just re-roll another piece of paper over it. All right. Let me see. All right. Let's see here. Would this one work? That would pull the two together, wouldn't it? No, I think I'm going to have the same problem with that one because of the ribbon. All right. So let's go with the pearls. Let's go ahead and... Start up here. 
We'll start right there. And that little piece of paper that came off, I'm going to use that pearl to cover it. So I'm going to put my glue right on that pearl right there. And put that pearl on that white spot. So nobody, except for me and you and others, no others will know. There we go. Okay. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on there. Wrap that around to the start. There we go. I'm going to let that set up just for a second. So I'm not tugging on it while it's trying to dry. Loosen this a little bit here. There we go. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put the hot glue right on that pearls there. And I'll show you where in just a second as I wrap it. Okay. So I'm putting my glue right in the right in there right in that little like channel between those two strings so that way it's hidden but yet it's gonna hold go. just turning this letting it find its own spot there Let's let that sit up a second. Wait, I think it will come out. Okay. Let's turn. It's just finding its own path. That glue set up a little bit. Okay. Turn. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need much else. Once that's on there, I don't think I'm going to need anything else to decorate this one with because that's going to be plenty, I think. Because that is so, isn't it pretty? Now they do sell those like miniature tiny like um, colored lights, but they're not real lights. Like in the miniatures department, those might look cute on something like this. Oh, they might even have it. They might have them in like their miniature crafts section in the Christmas crafts. Oh, they have the mini tree decorations. Miniature tree decorations. Or even maybe... You could probably use those fairy lights that they have out too if you wanted to actually lit and wrap those around a couple times. And I'm just kind of keeping that nice and tight as I go along. Nice and tight. Okay. Just rolling it. And pulling. Okay. Takes quite a bit of pearl ribbon, but you know, if you, when you're done with this and you get sick of it and you want to do something else, I'm sure you could just pull this right off of there and reuse it. So, and this wasn't that much either, I don't think. This dollar ninety nine um, for this roll. And you got three yards, so so that's not bad at all. Okay, so a dollar. 
So that's not bad at all. Okay. All right, so we're going to end right there, I think. You know what? I'm just going to keep gluing because I know I need something to put my fingers on. <laughs> I don't want to pull it tight with the. Uh, so I'm just going to keep keep gluing Need just a little bit more. Just a couple more there, I think. There we go. And then I'll cut it when I'm done. There we go. Oh, I still need a couple more, it looks like. Goodness gracious. There we go. All right. Okay. Cut this here like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of marker right there. Use my pencil. There we go. So that is my second tree. And let's just this um little tip of this um whoops, snowflake will fit right down in that hole there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right on the tip there. I'm going to take much and slide it right down inside of that hole. Of that paper. Just like so. There. Brings the natural color in to match the natural color of this and the base. So two different heights. And you could do these as elaborate as you want or as simple as you want. If you wanted to wrap them in burlap, you could wrap them in burlap. If you wanted to use other fabric, you could use other fabric. It does not have to be paper. That is just an inexpensive way for me to decorate with something I already have. So there. I think that looks nice. So again, that's week number 50 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. I want to thank you for joining in. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, if you would do so at this time, I would appreciate it. Just go below this video, hit the subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, a bell will pop up. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified each time I put up a new video. I want to thank all of my subscribers for following along and look forward to all my new ones. And I really do appreciate all those who have been with me since the beginning. I hope you have a good day. Bye.